everyone. Happy weekend, happy Saturday. How are you doing today, everybody? Yeah, this is my uh, reaction um, uh, video on Gladiator 2. My name is F. Mobin, Farhad, Farhad. I'm a uh, director, movie director and a rapper. First, I want to tell you a big, great applause to my legend, one, one, my, one of my, my favorite uh, directors, Ridley Scott. It was released uh, some th three or four days ago. Yeah, it was in the cinema, of course. Gladiator, Gladiator 2. Woo, yeah. I want to tell you about this movie. What do you think about this movie? Well, the first movie I saw some uh, many months ago. I didn't saw the movie every time before. Gladiator 1 is maybe still the best ever. And Gladiator 2 is much more surprising, man. It's so much more than the first. You know, it's a masterpiece, of course, you know. And what I want to tell you about this, uh, what I think about this movie, Gladiator 2. It is a surprising full pack action, new Ridley Scott, uh, new masterpiece, uh, treasure, golden uh, age movie uh, Things, shit, stuff, you know, I think it's the best, maybe it will be the best Gladiator, maybe then one, but I say Gladiator 1 is still the best. And why? Well, I can tell you, um, you know, I saw many movies in my life as action movies, of course, this one. And you know, as we remember that, you know, that great image of Russell Crowe, he was, what I have searched, he was 35 years old. He will look how young he was in this picture. He was so young. And he was so in enthusiastic, he was so entertained, you know. And you know that scene in this in the great video game, in this, uh, in this image. Are you not entertained? Aren't you? Because this is why you're here. You know who I am. <laughs> My performance. My name is Maximus Decimius. And I'm coming here to take revenge. Now you understand who I am, don't you? So, yeah, you know that scene, and you know, it's great. You had, you had also the great actors like Jack Wynn Phoenix, who played as Joker, who played the Emperor Commodus, who murdered his father, played by Richard Harris, and uh, suddenly, many uh, years passed away, the beautiful, sexy, attractive woman, Connie Newsom. <laughs> wow! You know, back at that time, you know, if you're looking at this image, you know, she was so young, and... You know, these actors were so, in that time, it was in the begin of the 2000 era, you had so great many film crew actors and who were very young, who understood, well, the martial skilled arts, you know, the technique of school training, as I, of course, I can play an act, I'm an actor too. So, you know, I really love, you know, in that time, we're talking about 24 years ago, you know, it was the begin of the great, in the uh, a time period of the film industry. The film industry or industry, you know, with Ridley Scott, who is known by his great film, Mo Alien. I don't know really other movies of him. I know he made this movie. <clears throat> I think he made another movie, but I'm not sure which other one. I know he made Alien. He made this one. Uh, some military movies, I believe. What else? Well, what do you think about Gladiator 2? Of course, if you saw, you see behind the scenes. Ridley Scott is amazing with creating the scenes, uh, the film sets. It was uh, this time filmed at Malta, Italy. It didn't film in Morocco. It was like 24 years ago. You know what I think about this? This is a great movie at all. I don't think it is bad at all. Of course not. You know, Dancer Washington, who we know from Training Day, American Gangster... Uh, the, uh, the Siege from 1998, um, uh, which movie, uh, Equalizer, Flight, you know, this guy is so amazing in his job, and I want Denzel Washington to, I, he's also playing in my new movie that I'm basically with drawing, illustrating, I'm going to show you soon which uh, uh, role he has to play as his African slave, but let's talk, uh, yeah, let's go back to this movie, you know, when I saw him in this movie, I thought, wow, they put podcasted him? But well, why? But, but when I searched, well, his character, Macronus, is a black, well, dark-skinned emperor. I don't know really how that come. I need to search it up. Doesn't matter, you know. Um, 
You know, yet you, you had these great actors like in the past. You know, Russell Crowe is no more in this part. He's uh, well retired. He's so fat, as my mom said. Yeah, I know. He's a really fat ass guy, like Steve Zagal. Snorlax. Nick and Bell both even sit in a restaurant and eat so much food they can even go go break it out. <laughs> you know, it's so amazing. You know what? You know, Ridley Scott is a fantastic movie director, and his film crew. No, those are the people I need for my movie. It's amazing, you know? And, you know, what I think about this movie, I really think it's deserved much more. Well, of course, maybe 100% status. You know, it's amazing to see that they build it so... They have built it in... Of course, they were... Be, in the summer, they were busy with creating this movie, of course, and filming it. And, if, and the movie locations of film sets are so awesome! Amazing! You know, it's great to see that they built it at all stage, this Coliseum, as Jen Dancer was saying, they said, they built a Coliseum. <laughs> i never been on the f- film set like this before, why he said, and I love it. <laughs> you know, Dancer Washington is a great man. You know, like the other, you know, you had this new actor, Pedro Pascal, I never heard about him, Pedro Pascal, you know of that song, Pedro, Pedro, Pe, 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 you know, it's a great uh, song. And you have also Paul Masco. I never heard about those guys. Uh, Joseph Quinn. I never heard about him before. But that doesn't matter. You know, it it must be Ridley has so and created a great, fantastic cast as I do. I search actors too for my movie, and I search um, well, most the oldest because the oldest have more experience, more life experience. You know, than the than those new guys. I don't know know these new guys. I know the oldest actors. You know, like Denzel Washington. When Shocker in Phoenix, I never really, really heard of him before. But when I saw him in Joker, right, this guy can act. He can act. Of course, I saw him in Gladiator 1. He was perfect. He was really perfect. You have also this African actor. I saw him in maybe another movie. I don't know. Sure. But you know what I can see? You know, Ridley Scott, the, the, the film crew, they did an amazing, fantastic job in this the film production. It was in begin somewhere in the summer, as I believe, you know. Um, you know, they did a great job. You know, Gladiator 2 is amazing. Also, look at these images. These sea ship battles. What the hell, man? It's amazing. What I know is that the Coliseum was floated and they fought it in, yeah, during the time of the rebellions and the Roman soldiers and the ships. You know, they were fighting and so far. And all the uh, Coliseum was floated, you know. In the first movie, when I saw the Colosseum as the other arenas, it was fantastic created. Well, there were some mistakes because it was so a cameraman standing there. <laughs> and it was also this uh, this this bottle, of an, um, a kerosene bottle was sitting in one of the chariots. <laughs> you know, it's amazing, you know, that he really Scott didn't sold those bloopers. But yeah, I like it. It's funny. So what I can say about this, my friends, I think Gladiator 2 will be a fantastic movie. I can't wait to see it as, yeah, if you didn't saw Gladiator 1, go check it out. You know, Gladiator 1, you know, about Maximus, but then after his death, you know, you know, my other guy, Max, who said uh, he doesn't like the movie because, it, you know, everybody's asking why it took it so, uh, took it so long time to make a movie like this after 24, uh, 24 years later. Why? Well, I can tell you why. Um, what I have found it and wrote, well, what I searched it up on Google and was so, uh, no, um, or have written, uh, Ridley had so many uh, difficult, uh, difficulties with his crew about the script. Because when you need to make a movie, you need to make, of course, a great movie script. The script has to go as, as exactly as everybody wants. Well, I know how to do that. I make a movie script in one day. Maybe they do it in much years because... Everybody's asking themselves, why it took us so long goddamn time for this movie, well, for, uh, uh, after 24 years, to make a new movie script? Well, Ridley had to write a new movie script because the old character has died, Russell Crowe's character, and he had to think about new characters. So he was thinking about, okay, this character, this name, this character, get this name, who would play this character, who would play this character, who would play that character, who would play that character, and so far... So, uh, yeah, that's the reason why they were busy so long. They were busy with so long rewriting and searching the actors. And I and that's, too, that's why it took so long. 
But I know that last year or the year before, during the COVID, he was busy with writing the script for Gladiator 2. Um, I think he made an, a great, of course, an amazing, great job, you know. And the greatest thing about this is the special effects. The special effects are also really amazing. Made in this movie as before. Because, well, 2000, uh, in 24 years ago, well, the CGI wasn't so developed. Of course, they used it, but not so much. Well, yeah, what I can say about that, you know, CGI is really worthless if you're using it too much. Now, Ridley knows, understand from 24 years ago, that you have to, you can use CGI, but let's don't use it so much. Only use it what before for backgrounds, not for monsters or, you know, things like some part of a scene where you see only one building or two buildings don't you don't do that but you understand like me so what i think about this uh, movie i think it's going to be a great movie as before and gladiator 2 well i'm i can't wait to see it <laughs> so yeah my friends now so you also understand why it took 24 years later to make a movie you know russell crow was talking about dance watch about training day two well I saw an interview, he doesn't really want it, but I think training day, training day two is not coming. Uh, you know, if, if if he would play like Russell Crowe would play in Pirates of the Caribbean, which have so many movies, it's also coming, like, next year will come a new movie, The, the Return of the Kraken, you know, that beast in Dead Man's Chest from 2006. You know, I think that Ridley Scott is, did an amazing job as Denzel Washington, these new actors who I never heard about, Connie Nielsen, the sexy Dani, Danish queen of Denmark, and so far. So that's it, my friends. Hope you like this uh, great interview, this reaction. You know, it really it's, it's for me really weird to understand why it took so goddamn time for Ridley to make a new, yeah, a movie after 24 years. Why not in 2014? Yeah, I think he was... So, uh, what I know, he was also busy with making other movies. And I think he had no time to make a new script. But I think during the COVID time, he was really busy with really writing a new script. He would play the actor. Uh, would play the characters. Would be the actor. So I think that's the only answer I can give it to you. So that's it, my friends. Hope you like this uh, interview, this great reaction video. This was uh, this was F. Mobin, aka Afghanka. Um, I'm busy also with my movie, The Rise of William Wallace, which I'm also gonna busy right now, and I'm gonna do some purchases and to my birthday, a friend, my friend of his his birthday. So that's it, my friends. I'm gonna close the book, and you will see my movie soon, The Rise of William Wallace. I'm gonna illustrate and upload more scenes. Have a nice Saturday, and I'll talk to you later, and maybe another reaction video. La bye.